welcome. The reason why I'm doing this message today is a eulogy of a dead, yes, a eulogy of a dead church. My friend, I'm not going to lie to you. If I had to do your, your eulogy, eulogy would mean not for the dead, but the eulogy would be for the living. Because we don't know the dash in between the year you was born and the year you die. We don't know, my friend, where you're going up or you're going down. So the eulogy of a dead church. My friend, the person that's in the casket can I hear us. So why would we try to preach that person into heaven? And there are a lot of pastors, there are a lot of preachers, there are a lot of people, Lord to God, that preach people into heaven. My friend, your life now determines your destination. If you live a life of a sinner, you're not going to heaven. Let me say it again, my friend. If you live a life of a sinner, you're not going to heaven. So people that lie to people, glory to God, say, Johnny is going to heaven. Johnny is not going to heaven because the Bible says it's a point that man wants to die than the judgment. My friend, there's a judgment. And the judgment is waiting on you because if you live a damn life on earth, hallelujah, don't, don't expect to, Lord God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant, been faithful a few things, enter into the joy of the Lord. It's a eulogy of a dead glory to God. My friend, we live in a time where people live raggedy life. And the preacher man say, Susie is going to heaven or Susie is going to hell. I can't determine whether Susie is going to heaven and determine if Susie is going to hell. My friend, my job is to preach the gospel to the living. My job is to tell glory to God, Mark 16, verse 16, my friend. The, the Bible says, he that believeth and baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. My friend, don't think that you will escape the wrath of God. Hey, glory to God, you might live a life of controversy, but your controversy should be that you want Christ to come into your life and save you right now because we don't know who Glory to God when Father Time going to get us. We don't know, glory to God, when we're going to die or when we're going to live. We don't know, my friend. So why are you living your life on maybe? I might. I'm thinking about it. You ought to live your life. I'm saying today you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. My friend, the eulogy of a dead church. My friend, I'm going to tell you, the church of Sardis say, Jesus Christ, I know your work. Hallelujah. I know them that are among you. Hallelujah. I'm going to judge you according to your work. My friend, we live in a time where preachers and pastors have put Susie into heaven. But guess what? Our job is not to put Susie into heaven, even though Susie live a life of damnation. My friend, our job is to preach the gospel to the living and tell the living that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We must tell people right now, while you're living, don't waste your life, Lord to God, on uncertainty. My friend, Paul say, be confident, hallelujah, that they that, hallelujah, depart from the, the body be with, be with present with the Lord. A lot of people find it controversial, my friend. But the Bible say they know probably the interpretation of the scripture. I don't believe, my friend. Listen, I don't believe in annihilation. I don't believe that glory to God, you glory to going to be destroyed and not going to feel the pain of you deciding not to go with God. Hey, glory to God, the pain of not deciding to go with God. My friend, you might say God is a God of love. Yes, God is a God of love. That's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. But God not going to be mocked. The Bible says, be not seen. God is not mocked. What's a man do it? So shall he read and so to the flesh of the flesh corruption of the spirit life everlasting. And a lot of people, my friend, under the sound of our voice, you go to church, but you're going to hell. You're going to church, 
and you think you're going to heaven. You have not decided to make Jesus Christ your Lord. You have not decided to make Jesus Christ more to the captain of your ship. So the eulogy, hallelujah, of a dead church, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. There are people, my friend, they're living their life of uncertainty. Hey, glory to God, you're not sure whether man, you're going to heaven or you're going to hell. Let me, let me tell you right now, my friend, that if you are a sinner, hey, glory to God, you're going to hell. If you die in your sin, hell going to be your home, whether you believe it or not. My friend, the Bible say, my friend, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all righteousness. The Bible say, my friend, when the men say, men and brethren, what must we do? And Peter say, repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise unto you and to your children. My friend, you must go all the way with Jesus. Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. You must be born of the water, hallelujah, and the spirit to enter into the kingdom of God. So go to church. Is not enough. What I say, going to church is not enough. My friend, a lot of people are going to church, they're going straight to hell. Hey, going to God, going to church don't signify you're going to heaven, my friend. Can a Bible don't signify you're going to heaven. Confession don't signify you're going to heaven. But what signify you're going to heaven, my friend, if you decided to let Jesus, your king, let Jesus, your savior, Hey, glory to God, my friend, we live in a time right now, my friend, people don't believe in heaven and don't believe in hell. They believe in purgatory. They believe that when they die, that's it, my friend. No, when you die, you won't see your maker. When you die, my friend, you're not going to see Mr. Ripper. You're going to see your maker, and your maker is Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. Because the reason why I say Jesus Christ is my maker, because the Bible says, without him was nothing made that was made. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word with God, and the Word was God. Say in the beginning with God, all things were made by Him. The eulogy, hallelujah, of a dead church. My friend, if you live a life of raggedy, if you live a life of condemnation, if you live a life of whoredom, if you live a life of fornication, if you live a life of, hallelujah, being a witch, my friend, you're going to hell. Because the Bible say, go to God, they're not going to be in a pearly gate. Hallelujah, if you're a bomb, a bomber, a bonnable, liars, hallelujah, adulterers, hallelujah, idolatry, hallelujah, sorcerers, are all liars who have their part in the lake of fire. What is the lake of fire, preacher? I'm so glad you asked. The lake of fire, my friend, is a second death. Ah, the Bible said death and hell could be cast in a lake of fire. So I'm telling people right now, the eulogy of a dead church. Hey, glory to God. Ah, blow, glory to God. My friend, if you ain't live a life of being alive, don't think when you die, you're going to heaven. You're not going to heaven. You're going to hell. Because hell is real. And if you don't believe hell ain't real, it's, it's your fact of being know that this is not fantasy. This is factuality, my friend. Don't listen to people that say that hell is not real because God is a loving God. Yes, God is loving. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is loving. God sent his son to save us from our sin. He's a savior of the world. But the eulogy of a dead church. My friend, if this you, if this is your message for you, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior now, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised, but today is a day of salvation. Today, God say, you hear his voice, harden not your heart. What I'm saying to those that are watching this video, I'm saying that don't wait until you die or don't wait until you're on your deathbed to see whether or not you're going to heaven or you're going to hell because they know something as purgatory. You're going up or you're going to a place. I'm not going to even say, I'm not even say down. To a place that Luke the 16 verse 16, 19, 31 say that glory to God that the rich man went to the place of torment and Lazarus into Father Abraham's bosom. 
I believe, my friend, that there's a place to wait for the sinner. Hallelujah. I don't believe that there's going to be a purgatory. But I believe that one day we're going to face our maker. One day we're going to see him as he is. One day you're going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. So I'm saying to you, my friend, if you're not saved, let the Lord, the Savior, save your soul from hell. Don't listen to the Lord to God, the, 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 the mockers or the scoffers that are saying that since the Father promised, he's not here yet. I believe that there's a hell. Hallelujah. I believe because the sinner man going to feel the torment and torture for him not accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and as his Savior. So if you are the person that's behind this video right now, you, you don't know whether if you die, where you're going to spend eternity. I'm telling you, give you the opportunity right now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. My friends, the Bible says a point of man wants to die. And then the judgment. There's going to be a judgment one day. Ah, and if you're not right with God, hallelujah, and you, and you decided not to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, hell going to be your home. I'm giving you all the opportunity right now to say yes to Jesus. Hallelujah, and no to death, and no to destruction, and no to the devil. Say yes to the Savior of your soul. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't play with your soul. Don't play with glory to God saying that the Bible got contradiction. Because the Bible don't have no contradiction. You got contradiction. You have doubts. The Bible is the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. Hallelujah. As a, as a flower fade away, God's word endure forever. So I'm saying to you that's watching my video, my friend, my message to you, don't let it be said too late. Hallelujah. When you stand before God, God will God to see is your name written in the Lamb Book of Life. And if your name not in the book, my friend, you're going to be damned. You're going to be doomed. And you're not going to see your destiny. Your destiny is going to be damnation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to help you. The preacher man lied to Sue. Sue live a raggedy whore life. She said, damn God. And the preacher man said, Sue is going to heaven. Sue ain't going to heaven. Sue is going straight to hell. Because Sue live a, a regular life. And here's a preacher man. Here's a man that lived for God all his life and died in Christ. He's going to heaven. Hey, glory to God. Amen. My friend. Your life now determine your destiny. Don't let nobody fool you. Your life now, how you live now, determine your destiny. If you live a life, glory to God, of cussing, the curse going to be upon you. If you live a life of blessing, you will be blessed by God. I will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Or God going to say, depart from me. He worketh of iniquity. I never knew you. My friend, today you hear his voice. God's voice is my voice. God's voice is God's word. God's voice, God don't give you an audible voice. God gonna use my voice to say, come unto me, all ye that heaven lady, and I will give rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Let me pray for you, Father God, right now, this person right now. Oh God, they don't know whether if they die, they're gonna be in hell or heaven. Oh God, let them not be the eulogy of the, of the dead church, but let me be a, a eulogy of the live church. Bless this brother. Bless this sister right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.